But again, the hope of all Italy. Disappointed in the giant slalom. And in the first run, it was Sebastian Amie who set the piece to light. Amie producing a blinding first run. To finish a full second ahead of the rest of the field. A big, big advantage in slalom skiing. But over the uh, second run, and Alberto Tomba, having made a big mistake on the first run, which cost him more than a second, now trying in one of his famous charges to give the Italian crowd something to cheer about, really attacking. And by 0.51, taking the lead but knowing inside himself that it wouldn't be good enough but ever the showman Tom Stiansen winner of just one World Cup slalom before the turn of the year in Breckenridge now skiing very quietly very concentratedly on this piece attacking the time of Alberto Tomba and going into the lead. Norway with another challenger and matching Tomba's dramatic performance. Behind on the clock was Thomas Sikura, the outstanding slalom skier of the seasons, coming into these championships with five wins in eight attempts. But Sikura, who'd been beaten by Tomba in Schladming in the last slalom under floodlights before these championships, really not looking his old self and dropping down to seventh place after a bad mistake and so to the first run leader Sebastian Amier looking to give France its first gold medal of these championships three times on the podium but looking for that gold medal position but Stiansen's quite skiing the more effective and by just five hundredths of a second Amie misses out but nonetheless happy to get a silver medal but Stiansen a third goal for Norway the Viking attack was the best of the lot Skordal, Ormot and Stiansen the three gold medalists Debbie Compagnoni with Kostner getting three goals for Italy Kernan getting Switzerland's goal with Michael von Grunigen and Pernilla Wieberg, the only medal for Sweden in third place.